And in the place of prayer, I've been carried to show me my glory garment. And when they took me there, people don't come in the flesh. People come in their spiritual reality. And when I saw myself, I was burning with flames. And so I can go to a place, the atmosphere can be cold, I don't care. I come with my own atmosphere. I can change it anytime because I have seen what I look like in the spirit. It's a technology of the glory. There are many people that what they carry in the spirit are oils. So they are like bombs in Gilead. They can tell you the situation is without hope. Wait until they show up. Sometimes they don't even need to come. They will send their handkerchief. What they told you, seven prophets have prayed. Five apostles have prayed. When a man who flows oil comes, Benihim said, he took Pastor Chris somewhere when they were in California. And there's this family, this lady was paraplegic for many years. He goes to serve her communion. They are beautiful things. And you know how anointed Benihim is. He said, offer her communion, prayed for her every day. And so when Pastor Chris visited him, they were going to see Billy Graham. And he said, okay, let them, they should just pass by because he needed to pray for the woman so that they would just see her quickly before they go to Billy Graham. And when they came, Pastor Chris said, she can walk now. <laughs> Benihim now lowered his voice and said, we've been praying for a long time. Pastor Chris said, no, she can walk now. You want to walk now? The lady couldn't even nod. And when he showed up, he opened another vista. You know, all of us have different corridors. Benihim flows by the anointing. But in addition to the anointing, Pastor Chris has faith. And Pastor Chris has discernment of spirits. So in addition to the anointing, he can tell if what is happening to you is natural or if a demon is involved. And the moment he, he looked at the woman, <laughs> he looked at the woman and he saw the demon that was holding her neck. Get out there! And instantly, the demon left. The woman stood up. When he knelt down and began to cry. Not because he's not anointed, but God designs the glory so that we can honor ourselves. God designs the glory so that we can value ourselves. So I can come and pray. People are imparted. Somebody has praised. People are healed. Somebody has praised. People prosper. So you now discover that the body of Christ is indeed the body of Christ. Because the church is not a beauty. Because some of you can be the hand of God. Another person can be the leg of God. Another person can be the mind of Christ. Because we have become an organism in the spirit. When we enter the glory, we become different dimensions of the Christ. And so when a man has not yet found his dimension in the spirit, he is a body to the church. And this is why we raise men to come to capacity. Because at the end of the day, all of us must come to our reality. Those of you who are the eyes of the church, if you don't come to your reality, the church will be blind for many years. Because nobody can look and say, this is the perspective of God. Restore. The reason you go to certain nations and there is captivity, there is darkness, there is corruption, is because that church may have the arm of God. So there is power, but they don't have the eyes of God. And so every day, cripples are walking, dead men are rising. But they need seers. They need those who know the way of the spirit. And because they don't know it, they will be moving in power, but they will be confused until the eyes begin to rise. This is why the church of the last day is not a church of one man. No, I'm too limited to lead the body of Christ. We need an army to rise so that sometimes when we are seeking the counsel of God, like First Chronicles 20, 20, while we are yet fasting, the spirit of God can fall upon someone and he say, in this battle, you don't need to carry spears and arrows. In this battle, carry those who are the singers. Let them go first. And all they need to say is that the Lord reigns and his glory endure it forever. And as they are singing it in the spirit, angels will begin to fight. Because if we fight in this battle, we will lose. Because they, they see us have shown up. If the church does not come to maturity, we will be defeated. Because you can pray and be defeated. Because when we pray, what we want to do is to come into our elements. Those who, are, 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 who carry the sword, when prayer becomes intense, then they begin to judge. You find God begin to put walls in their mouth. And they begin to cut off the tongue of the Leviathan. Meanwhile, after they finish judging, those who see will need to come and say, this is what the Lord wants us to do and give us strategy. When they finish, those who carry the hand of, of wealth, the oil of wealth, they will show up and sponsor what God wants to sponsor. Then you discover that the church becomes invincible. This is when the glory of righteousness will be clothed. 
But there is no emphasis on growth. Jesus has come and done everything. He has made you become like him. But you can't draw the glory. One of the ways to draw the glory is by prayer. Because when you pray, you come under the shadow. When you grow under the shadow, a point will come when you will move from under the shadow. You will come into the different places in Christ. The Bible said in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 that God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So there are those who don't wait for the shadow. They go to meet the shadow. As they pray for a while, they go to heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Did you not read the life of John? He said, I, John, your brother in tribulation. I was among the captives. No, not captive. He said, I was in the eye called Patmos in Revelation 1 verse 10. And he said, I heard a sound as of a trumpet. And as I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. So the cloud was coming to him. In verse 4, he said, I heard the same voice that spoke to me. And a door opened in heaven. And he said, come up hither. So there is a realm. As you are doing business with the glory, the cloud comes upon you. When the cloud comes, suddenly inspiration comes. You hear, buy this land. Buy that land. And then you buy those lands when everybody is running. And the land begins to appreciate. As you are praying, the cloud comes. Your hand begins to burn. And after a while, you discover you begin to heal the sick. Then the time comes, you move from under the cloud. You enter the heavenly places. At that time, you don't only receive those inspirations. You can see everything and pick the one you want to do. I can come for a miracle service now because I function under the cloud. And God can tell me, teach, today I will heal the sick. I can come tomorrow, God tells me, dance, I will heal the sick. But there is a realm you get to. You are not waiting for the voice anymore. You live where the voice lives. Did you read about Daniel? He said when he showed up, they didn't tell him anything was wrong. But when he entered the palace and he looked, he said, oh, God exalted you. And instead of honoring God, you decided to worship the God of iron. He said, therefore, this hand is come. Mene, mene. They couldn't even read it. How did he know the language? That means where the hand came from, he goes there. He knows the language of that nativity. He doesn't only live among men and men anymore. Once upon a time, he said there is a God that reveals a secret. So he needed to go and pray for the secret to be revealed to Daniel in a night vision. But a time came, he sits where the secrets are uttered. And so he doesn't need to go and fast and pray and sleep for the secret to come. When he shows up, he begins to interpret it. Mene, mene, take care of a sin. He said, you have been weighed in the balances of the spirit. And he said, tonight, the armies of the Medes and the Persians, they will overrun your kingdom. And come rain, come shine, it must happen. Because the man who is speaking, he walks where the glory dwells. Oh, there's a place where the glory is a pillar. And so those who come there, they worship him and they know him as they are known. Because for them, God is no longer a message. God is a person that they mingle with and they have intercourse with him night and day. I heard a story that turned me on. Once upon a time, a man had an encounter with Jesus and Jesus came to him. And when Jesus spoke to him, he didn't understand what Jesus said. And Jesus told him, go to be humble. He will explain to you. What do you mean? How can you meet Jesus and he's sending you to another man? The same way Paul met Jesus and he sent him to Ananias. He said, go into the city. You'll be told what to do. Because what is happening to you now is a reality under the cloud. But there are those who come to heaven. There are those who are part of the council of heaven. Because before the world passes away, the elders of this generation will be numbered. We can be coming to church and doing church. But you'll be shocked that the reason Abuja is standing is because of men are in the heavens. And on the strength of their legislation for this land, this land can fall. That's why there is more for us than for those who are against us. There's more. There's more. The story of this land will not be There are elders in the spirit that have partnered with men to secure the borders. Darkness can come. But under that darkness, the Bible says an army will rise. So when the devil thinks he has gotten it all, that's where the warriors are born. Under the cloud of darkness. To show the devil that he is not as wise as the ancient of days. But for this operation to happen, men of the glory must rise. And so while they are doing military strategy, there is a place in priesthood where nations are born. And those who know those places, those ancient pathways, they will come back there and tell God, what about what you told me 15 years ago? I was part of this council 15 years ago and you told me Nigeria will not fall. What are the covenants? Where are the prophecies? Where are the oracles? 
are you not the God that changes not? Are you about to change your mind? And when God remembers those utterances, He said it becomes a memorial. He said they that fear the Lord, they sat and spake one to another, and a book of remembrance was opened to them that fear the name of the Lord. There is a place where nations are born. Is there as soon as Zion today? Nations are not born in Parliament. Nations are born in the heavens. They all touch where the new Jerusalem dwell. And there are men who not only stay under the cloud, they have walked in the glory until the glory has become a pathway. And so when God doesn't come, they go to God. They go there and they say, what about the human race? We know you have many races. There is the angelic race. But what about man? Did you not read about John? When John went to heaven, he was negotiating for man. And one of the angels came to him and said, Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David, he has prevailed. Weep no more. The man went to heaven. He wasn't celebrating the street of gold. He came as a, an ambassador of earth. And so even though heaven was beautiful and there were streets of gold, he came with a body. How about the human race? What becomes of man if you turn your back? What will be the destiny of man? And one of the elders in the court was sent to speak to him. He said, weep not. Weep not. Weep not. I know ordinary people come to heaven to enjoy. But you didn't come to enjoy. You came as a sinner to enjoy. You came as an elder from earth. The bodies of earth are more important. That's the church that God is looking for. The church of statue. That's when we gather. We are like the bride. Our garments are pure because they have been poured in the blood. And I went to the house of John Gilly. I went to the house of, of John Knox. And when I saw his date of death, it was 1573. But the moment he entered there, do you know how long that is? He died in 1573. But that place was still a portal. The moment we stepped there, we knew this was not ordinary. As I sat on his prayer chair, immediately my body sweat came upon me. Fire came upon me. And when I stood up, I said, no. The legacy men live for earth are not churches. Buildings are monuments. The legacies that people leave, they are the glories that they trapped. For aeons, you cannot erase it because they were not written by the hand of man. The architects that fashioned the glory are men of the present, creatures of eternity, and the things they do, you can't modify it. Today, they are selling churches in those nations and turning them to houses and monuments, but you can't touch a potter. And so the houses of men like John Knox, you can't even modify it. Because it's not a beauty, it's a potter. It's a potter. Glory is trapped there. And even if it's 400 years, the witness and the testimony of those men remain as a law among men. And so the things he cut with God, no parliament can utter it. Even if the sons of the bondwoman sit on the throne, those utterances will remain because they were not uttered on earth. They were uttered in heaven. of the earth, even when their names are mentioned, you will know that men walk with God. And those, those fellowships will become a heritage for a generation. And even in times when we can't seek God anymore, we will latch on to their prophecies. And their prophecies will become pathways of deliverance. The Bible said between Malachi and John, it said there was darkness according to 
church history but they held on to the writings of Isaiah we may not have heard God anymore but there are signs in Zion the men that walked with God their footprint still remain in heaven as gateways and when we can't find God we will see the things they said we will look upon their walk with God and it will become verdicts of deliverance how do you think you can live your own life casually no if we only breathe and eat then we are not different from animals but there is something beyond the stars is the walk of glory so that when you finish your sojourn on the earth you can say as it is so are we